So on Wudo, you go to still in Bayesian hierarchical modeling. I put the um, due date to be next Tuesday. So like one week from today. It's a short lab. I wouldn't worry about like working along or outside of um, class, but you can, I mean, work together, of course. Uh, but I'm just saying that I will give a quick overview of what we're trying to do in this lab and then you can start doing it and then, or like carry on after class. Um, so again, remember for the K-drama rating example that I did in class, the simple normal model that I did, uh, we had uh, issues of having negative draws of mu, mu j's, mu j, I should say, and also mu. And well, that's not desirable because we know as means, as means of ratings and as means of means of ratings, they shouldn't be negative. So I was trying to give you some idea of what else you can do. So the overview part is like the model itself, the prior, the hyper prior that we gave before, and I gave you the output of, um, of what we've seen before. So these are the issues, you see? You start to get negative draws of mu and all mu j's, in fact, okay? All right, so two ways that I propose that you can try, and I give you a sample code to do that. The first one, which is in section two, is the truncated normal distribution for the hyper prior mu and priors. Okay, so truncated normal, it's, it's like a regular normal distribution, but you restrict the range of the random parameter, I mean, the, I should say the random variable. And for our case, we want to do a truncated normal that is non-negative, okay? So in equation seven, I give you uh, like the density of it. You can try to make, make an understanding of this. And how to specify a truncated normal hyper prior or prior injects, I gave you some sample code. So quickly, this is what we had done before, right? Those three lines that I'm highlighting. This is just giving the regular normal prior for the mu, okay? So it's d norm and then you have a mu j, sorry. And you get a d norm mu and an in inverse, inverse tau square. So if you want to get a truncated normal prior with only non-negative values of mu j, it's pretty straightforward. It works similarly, except you just add one more thing. This is t parenthesis uh, zero comma closing parenthesis, okay? So that I think stands for I want to truncate it to be above zero, okay? So, well, yeah, if you fit, fit that in the model and then you run the whole JAX code, you will see that, well, you will never really get the negative mu's anymore. In fact, the model does not allow you to have non, I should say, negative values of mu. So the second um, option that I propose, which in section three, is the log normal distributions. And again, uh, this is also enforcing that you do not have any, um, I would say, no negative values as well. So the way to specify this, again, is even simpler than before. Previously, you have to add this T to represent truncation. Here, you simply just change the density. So instead of D norm, you do, you do DL norm. That's uh, log normal. So that will help you um, get rid of the issues of negative uh, mu j's as well. And the last one is I just open-ended. You can think about any other distribution that you want to use and then search online how to get the JAX uh, script to, to get that to work. And I should mention that uh, you use this as, um, I mean, the instruction tells you like say only part of the code that what you should change when you try to use a new prior or hyper prior but if you actually need to know how to run the JAX, uh, you go back to Moodle. It's the in-class R examples that I shared at the beginning of the unit. And you actually have to download the data and then uh, follow the write the model case. But of course, you start to change the details of the prior and hyper prior that you give. And then the later part of the mod, I mean, of the code also gives you um, script as how to run the model, how to look at the results, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so there are some back and forth. Make sure that you download um, the R script and then the K-drama data. Download that to your laptop as well in your R studio and then follow the lab four instructions. Okay, so I'll walk around and uh, feel free to ask any questions and um, yeah, work outside of class of this. Um, hopefully not too long as well.
Okay, really quick, um, some of you are saying that, well, I changed like the truncated normal, but I still get negative values. The thing is, the demo that I do here is only for mu j, and you should also think about the mu. So I think if you only change this in the part for mu j, for example, uh, in the code, uh, which is, if you only add the truncation here in the prior part, and when you run it, you will still, I think, most likely get, so all of the mu j's will be fine. You wouldn't have negative values anymore because you're truncated, but I think you didn't truncate the mu, which is the hyper prior, so you might still get negative values for mu, okay? So here, in this case, you should do the truncation like the T zero, sorry, the T parenthesis zero comma closing, that whole thing, not only at the priors, but also at the hyper prior, or whenever you think it's necessary, okay? Just so you know, some of the results that I saw just now, it's happening, and it's only happening to the parameters that you didn't truncate, okay? All right, yeah, I think, um, yeah, time is up, so we're gonna uh, stop here on Thursday. Uh, we're gonna start the new um, unit on uh, regression. Okay.